So obviously we're, we're here um, today. Louis um, announced his retirement to the players this morning and on behalf of the entire football club, the players and the staff and essentially the supporters as well, I'd like to thank Louis for his outstanding contribution to this football club. He's a two-time Premiership player. He's played 179 games of football, has been known for a number of things throughout his career. Um, said to the players today, he's when you knew the number 30 was running down the race, you'd always be confident that you'd get a contest out of him. Um, he was an extremely good role player, he played a role all over the ground, played in every position and most importantly he was a, a big time, big game player and we remember those three things along with the flailing blonde locks um, as he roars in and lay another tackle and it's, he's just been a magnificent contributor for 13 years to this football club and I'd really like to thank him for what he's been able to do and and wishing more the best for the future. So, Louis. No, thanks, Horse. Um, look, really appreciate um, everything the footy club's given me, but um, I think more so I just want to take this opportunity to, to, to thank all the Sydney Swan supporters out there um, for, for the support and encouragement they've given me over my 13 years. Um, it, uh, I didn't really see my career sort of unfolding as it did and, and lasting as long as, as what it did, but. Um, it certainly has been a, a, a very exciting journey, uh, plenty of highs and plenty of lows and, and we play footy initially because we enjoy it and, um, and throughout my career I've, I've really enjoyed my footy and my time at the Swans and, and look to be a part of um, two premierships and to reach that, uh, that, that pinnacle of success um, were the highlights um, in my career. Again I want to thank um, the horse and the coaches and, and all my teammates. Um, the relationships I've made over over my time have, have been sensational, and, and they certainly are things that I will cherish. And um, I think moving forward, I'm excited for the next stage of my life. Um, I'm not sure what it what it, what, it, what it holds, but um, it, it, no matter what it is, I'll uh, throw um, my highest endeavours towards uh, to, towards um, what I do. It was an emotional decision. Um, there are a lot of factors that come into play. Um, uh, I think a as a player you, you sort of need to realise that um, eventually it does finish and your career does wind up and, and I think, um, I mean more recently if you look at last year I had a, a, a knee injury and then this year there's been a, a few little niggling injuries that um, haven't allowed me to, to perform at, at what I'd like and, and what's required at AFL level. And, and you bring those factors into it, um, so the physical and mental side of the game uh, are some of the reasons why you, you make the decision. It's a tough one. Though. This year was a bit of the unknown. Last year had been a struggle with injury and, and, and you work so hard to try and get the injury right and get back to a, a level that's required at AFL footy and then this year was sort of a, just a wait and see. Um, uh, I think, um, I mean I didn't know personally what it'd be like and I'm sure the coaches didn't really know um, what the output would be like from me so um, the, the way it's, it's, it's finished up I'm, I'm really really happy and, and very proud. <laughs> Look as I said the support that um, this footy club footy club has is, is fantastic and and look the supporters that turn up rain hail or shine are, are really good and, and and when you run out to the SCG and you hear the roar from the crowd that's, that's certainly um, something that's pretty expiring. Um, inspiring and, and pretty exciting. Uh, I think um, in terms of being a, a, a cult hero or what have you, um, I mean I, I just prefer to um, to play my role for the team, um, to do what's required. Come on mate, you've had a t-shirt uh, made of it. <laughs> and enjoy my footy. No chance. Look I was just happy to play one. Um, I think when I started it was um, certainly an eye opener. I, I was playing alongside some of my idols growing up, um, so that was a huge thrill, but uh, I mean to end up where, I, where, where I've come now, I did not dream about it. it um, I think w with the decisions I've come to, um, uh, the hardest thing is that there always is that element of hope. Um, you sort of cling on to the what ifs, but in reality it was about um, doing what I thought was right and, and, and it's been you know, taxing 13 years on my body, um, and, and and look, again, it's a hard decision, but but something that um, 
you, you can't sort of sweep under the carpet. Look, team success. Um, 05 and, and 2012 were certainly the highlights. Um, I mean, even last year I played in a reserves grand final, which was pretty exciting. <laughs> and, and, and look, I think getting the opportunity to play with quite a few of the young guys was, was really good and, and, and really good for my, um, for my learning curve. But uh, as I said, it's the, the relationships that you make along the journey. I remember when I first started, there was Paul Kelly, Wayne Schwartz, Andrew Dunkley. Um, along the journey, there's been Mickey O'Loughlin, Goodsey, Jared McVeigh, Barry Hall, just to name a few. And, and now when I finish, there's um, a couple of handy players in um, Kurt Tippett and Buddy Franklin that I've played alongside. I can do what he wants, Louis. He's, um, <laughs> he's, uh, uh, you can you, honestly, you can, you can do what he wants to do. I mean, sometimes uh, it'll be up to what Louis wants to do. Whether he wants to have a have a rest and a break. Um, certainly, the the mental side of it's been challenging for him as much as the physical side, and and that's what tends to happen at some point in time. And that'll be up to Louis. He's certainly uh, no problem to have around the footy club, so he's more than welcome to come around the footy club. But um, it, it can tile up to him. Oh yeah, he tells me all the time he's really stiff not to win the Norm Smith and. Um, he reckons that at half time he had it in the bag and um, look his, uh, his, his game in that 2005 was, was outstanding and, and uh, he was just you know as a centre half back and even in 2012 when we put him behind the ball in the last quarter and he was able to, to do the things he did in that, in that last quarter and have the, the trust of the coaching staff, the players and, and that to just to do that role really sums up or any role that we wanted him to do. Um, sums up the sort of person and player he's been for this footy club. He's just wherever he wanted him to go, no problems. He went and did it, and it's a credit to him. Uh, look, no idea to tell you the truth, and that's pretty much been the story of my whole career. Um, <laughs> just run around and, and try your hardest, and, and I think that's a, a good attitude to go in with. Yeah, there's been plenty. Um, he's he's actually one of the standout memories for me was when he first started at this club, and he went toe to toe with Barry Hall in a football sense in the goal square at training night after night after night and he and Hawley uh, just locked horns every night at training for the first part of Louis's career and he got a few um, uh, had a few losses be fair to say Louis for that yeah, period of time and a, and a few blood noses but he never ever stopped going back he, every session he'd go back out on a Tuesday and do the same thing as he did the week before and and he set himself and Hawley and he had some massive battles. Hawley had the better of him in the early days, but as the as the sessions went on and the years progressed, he never stopped testing himself against the best. And Hawley was one of the best centre half forwards going around and he always Louis always wanted to test himself against the best. And he did that time and time again and, and that's probably the other thing that stands out to me on the training track that not many people saw. He was always, he's a fantastic athlete and that's the thing. He, you watch him run a run a four hundred or or 200s or see him in the pre-season. He, he was a fantastic runner and a massive competitor. So those two things add up to a pretty pretty good mix as a player and really disciplined. And he's, you could probably describe him as pretty raw at times, as, but I like to describe him as a, as a massive competitor. And, and I think that's the thing that he stands out. Uh, look, I think you learn um, pretty quickly what's required at the top level. Um, you need the, the toughness and the, the resilience and, and, and Hawley was great, he, he taught me that. He also taught me a lot about um, cars and, and tattoos and, <laughs> <laughs> and how to enjoy beer. So I, I think, um, and it hasn't, hasn't just been Hawley over the years, I've had a lot of great mentors and, and that's a good thing about this footy club is um, if you're a young guy that walks into this club, you understand what it requires to, to get to the, the top and to be the best. I just think everyone, his teammates know what they're going to get from him every game and that's um, uh, an incredible trait to have as a player if you know you run through the Paul Kelly race and you know what you're going to get by the bloke who's running around in the number 30 jumper, that's a, an important attribute for a teammate to have and the fans see that as well, the supporters see that, they, su they see the way he goes about, they see the the, the tackle on Luke, Luke Hodge, the, uh, the enormous pressure he puts on, the, the fact that he's willing to go back and, and stand in front of an opposition key forward, whether you throw him in the ruck or you play him up forward in any particular role. The supporters know when they were watching Louis Roberts Thompson at his best, when he was on the ground, he'd just give massive effort. And it wasn't always about anything else other than massive effort. And if you give that, I think the supporters and the teammates can't ask much more than that. Congrats, Louis. Thanks, guys. Really, 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 really,